Good evening. How's everyone doing? Happy Friday. And welcome to the stream. Yeah. It is the weekend once again. Uh, how has everyone's week been? Thank you for being here and uh, for uh, being a part of uh, this Friday experience. Uh, what do you got uh, plans the weekend, everyone? And how was your week? Oh. You'll pardon my uh, look today. I uh, I'll play around with the camera a bit, but please pardon my look. I didn't shave today because I uh, knew I wasn't going to have any meetings at work. So I uh, Fridays are usually those days where I decide to, to skip shaving if I feel lazy. Let me play around with the light. Ooh, this might be better, actually. A little warmer. Take a sec here. I don't know if that did anything. Yeah, maybe we'll go with this uh, tone for now on the camera. Yeah, so uh, we've had uh, two straight streams of Neo 2, which has been great. Uh, I, it, it's been really fun jumping back into this game that I started playing originally on the PS4 and I moved over to the PC to play the complete edition. And I want to make a, a solid run at the game this time. And I'll do it completely all on stream. I'm not going to be playing Neo 2 off stream for a while, at least. Because it's just my side game. Uh, the main game on the channel is still Elden Ring. So uh, that's what we're going to do tonight, um, jumping back in. It's been actually several days since I put any serious time into Elden Ring and I actually stopped playing um, sort of like on a difficult note where I'm kind of stuck and a little bit frustrated in, in, a, in a spot right now. I'm in a catacomb and um, uh, I'm at a boss fight that should be easy to get through because I've beaten the boss before. There's just the slightly new wrinkle to the boss fight this time but it should be totally manageable so uh so tonight elden ring then i'll be posting up a new uh stream schedule tomorrow it's pretty much going to be same old same old or business as usual uh but there's gonna be uh on sunday is um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be celebrating my one year anniversary as a twitch streamer uh, one day early. Technically, it's Monday, but because I don't usually stream on Mondays, I'm going to do it on Sunday morning, my usual time slot. So yeah, that, was, that one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, perhaps I will talk a little bit more about it at the end of the stream. And um, I'll definitely post some updates and info on Twitter and my Discord, uh, Night Owls and Netrunners. But yeah, that's really much it. Uh, pretty much it. Pardon me. Uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to Clapper G, who followed, I believe, earlier today uh, when I was offline. So thank you very much, Clapper G. It is really a nice and pleasant surprise to get a new follow when I'm not even streaming. So that means you may have checked out my VODs or you just found me on social media elsewhere. So I do appreciate you taking the um, leap of faith and drop me a follow. So I uh, want to thank you very much for that, Clapper G. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you can show up in a, in a stream sometime and we can chat. Cool. Well, without further ado, let's head into uh, Elden Ring back again. Yeah, I mentioned this before, but it's going to be tricky. Let's just say tricky, uh, kind of transferring back and forth between Neo 2 and Elden Ring. Just because of the muscle memory. Uh, they have very different button mappings, control schemes. Control schemes, very similar, but it's the mappings, the button mappings. Uh, they're going to differ. All right, so Sainted Hero's Grave is where I'm at. Where is this located? It's somewhere in the Altus Plateau. Uh, I've still yet to find the uh, map to get the uh, topography for this area. Got some of it, but yeah, there's still more to explore. All right, 
So, um, the deal with this place is, um, it's full of the imps. Uh, imps are definitely, uh, one of my, uh, least favorite enemy types in uh, Elden Ring. And these, these guys are even worse in this dungeon because they are, uh, their variation of imp is shadow imp, I, I want to say. They can't be harmed until you expose them to uh, some special light that's present in the dungeon. So once they're exposed to the light, uh, they get stunned and then they become a material. Uh, so your, your earthly weapons can harm them now. Uh, so all the enemies, or many of the enemies in this dungeon are like that. The imps and the uh, boss at the end of the uh, level is a shadow variation. And once I get back to the boss, I'll explain why I've been having some problems with him. Cool. So uh, another new thing I picked up was this uh, Nagakiba which is in my right hand. Oops. The control is not responding. Give me a sec. I can, okay, I can do the left bumper, but my right bumper wasn't working for some reason. What? Okay, weird. Every button is working, except for the uh, standard attack. I don't know why. Oh, that's weird. Right, let me unplug the controller. It's a good thing I checked. Gotta, gotta have these button checks once in a while. Okay, how are we doing? Signal? Do we have a signal in the controller? Oh, even the uh, game froze up a bit. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's happening? I can't. I. Okay. So far, the face buttons... Okay, so far, all the face buttons work. But... Oh my goodness. Everything except the uh, right bumper. R R1. Or is it R1 or R2? Oh, R2. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. What is going on? Problems. Yeah, all the uh, other buttons are seem to be working right now. Yeah, there's an enemy there. We don't need to fight them. What? Oh, goodness, what's going on? I'm gonna unplug again. As luck would have it, issues. Okay, the uh, game is thinking again. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, I still don't have. Uh, I am not understanding why. Yeah, I have. It's not like I. Um, don't have the stats to use the Nagakiba. What if I just... What's going on? Oh shit. He saw me! Oh shit. I know. Oh fuzz. Why is he attacking me? How did he know I was here? Really annoying. Like, he was just crouched there and I just walked right out of the room, like over to here, and he, and he heard me. I'm not gonna die. I, I, I have to pick up my runes from dying previously, so I wasn't gonna die to that guy, no way, so. All right, let's get my, uh, I couldn't find my katana. Here it is. We good? I still can't attack with my uh, 
Uh, I have to quit and restart the game. Oh, sorry about that. This is really weird. It's not like I dropped my controller or anything today. Yeah, I just don't know what's going on. Um, if other buttons were not uh, responding, that'd be a little bit different, but... Uh... Hmm. Okay, let's quit and restart. All right. Technical issues. Gotta love it. Got to love it. All right. And just for fun, I will uh, unplug again. Plug back in. And then let's restart the game. Uh, okay. The Elden Ring takes a little bit longer to completely shut down. And if you try to run it again too quickly, it's going to give you a warning. All right. I think it's okay now. I used to get this uh, nonsense from uh, Sekiro, which uh, which I haven't played for many months now. I plan to go back to that game at some point, but uh, just haven't been in the mood. And then a new game start coming out, and then it gets shoved to the back of the line, further and further, further and further back it goes. Okay. I'm really hoping my controller uh, works again because I can't really play if I can't uh, do my primary attack. I'm not going to be playing with handicap. <laughs> I'm not that good. It's possible this this issue requires a full reboot of my PC, but I'm not gonna go that route. Here we go. We're back in business. We are back in business. See? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Alright. So, <laughs> where were we? We're gonna skip that room. And we're just gonna fight a few imps who are in our way, and then we're basically gonna wake away, wake, make my wake, make my way back to where I died. Where I died, there's a lot of imps there. So each time I come back to pick up my runes, there's a there's a high chance that I will die before I can get it, or I get it and I just die anyway, and it's a wasted run. So here's the first. How do I run again? Right. Right, right, right. Gotta be careful. Muscle memory, as I said. Oh, nice. Got a level 5 smithing stone from this dude. Very nice. Hello. Chase me. As he gets stunned, that's when I come in. Two wax. More like four wax. Okay. This is a really easy part. Pick up a flower. This part's a little bit trickier. Because I gotta kite these guys into the light. And I wanna do it in such a way where I don't take any damage from them on the way there. So I gotta watch their uh Patrol patterns. This takes a this takes a bit of time. It's a little bit annoying. Okay, this way I go. Hug the wall. Oh shit. Oh fuzz, man. These guys. That's 
bastards. There's way more damage than these are taking from these two imps. Okay, now this is where it gets really uh, dangerous. Let's skip the uh, wizard who's ringing his bell. Okay, so here the floor is going to break away. It's going to crumble beneath my feet. And it's going to be a new arena. And there's going to be three imps in there. Two of them are going to be active right away. The other one's going to be a little bit slower to get started. I forget where I died exactly in this in this in the room below. So I got to grab my runes ASAP. Hey, I am Syracuse. Hello, good sir. Very good to see you. I'll wave at you on the camera. Hello. Double wielding all the way. <laughs> yeah, so I got the Nagakiba, as you can see. Big long sword. Big long Schwartz. Um, and I've paired it for now with the uh, Meteor. Meteoric sword. Um... And I don't know uh, if you've done this catacombs before, but this one's giving me some trouble. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, recover my runes and then uh, survive and then make my way back to the boss and try not to die again. Because every time I die on this boss, I got to do this entire gauntlet all over again. So I was getting super frustrated with this catacomb uh, earlier this week. And that's why I decided to stream uh, Neo 2 an extra day just to sort of get away from this game for a bit. Oh, that's the two I'm rocking too? Aw, oh, look at that. Great minds, you know? Great minds, think alike. All right, let's, I'm gonna actually turn on my pocket lantern. Yeah. And uh, let's get down there and fight some imps, stupid imps. Okay, do it. Oh, there they are. Oh shit. I did the wrong attack. I did the wrong attack. I should've did the uh... Oh shit. Shit! I thought there were only three imps in here, and I thought I'd killed one already. I think I've been here. I know you got to defeat a mini boss to get that door open, I think. Yeah. So the mini boss is one of those gladiator dudes uh, with the, um, like the chain weapon, uh, like the blade on the chain. But he's a shadow version, so you're supposed to lure him back to that chamber, basically, where the imps were. So that he can be exposed to the light, and then you can actually damage him. But then it's a, it's a long trek to get back there, and there's no uh, Stake America near, near that boss room. And even if there was, you wouldn't want to respawn there, because you have to get back to that room with the uh, light on the ground. So this, this yeah, it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Let's, let's be real here. He also, yeah, he also dark, so you got to have him chase you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I should have just read, read your message, uh, Syracuse, uh, instead of just uh, going off like I did. Uh, how's your week been, man? Uh, how have you been keeping? And uh, you got anything fun planned for the weekend? Die. No, 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 I'm not talking to you. <laughs> it's like, you got anything? You got anything fun plan for the weekend? I said die right after that. It's like, what? Talking to the game now. Talking to the game. Take that. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the um, That last run, definitely a warm up because I still get Neo 2 in my fingers. So that's definitely dangerous trying to play two Souls games at the same time, isn't it? Yeah, I knew that going in. I did it anyway. I'm gonna make a run for it now. I, I hate waiting 
Get in here. Come on. I still got I still got hit, didn't I? Well, what's this guy doing? Well, what is this guy doing? He should be chasing me. Yes. There we go. I gotta be careful of that. The sorcerer is gonna get me. I can turn the corner, I should be safe. I'm on call this week, so nothing planned this week, just in case. How was yours? Okay, so you're on call this week. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I hope, uh, I hope it's uh, quiet and no emergencies for you. That me, you know, that that still means you're you're standing at the ready, so you can't exactly fully relax. But you know, I hope uh, nothing. I hope shit doesn't hit the fan for your work. Uh, my week was good. It was really fast. And I wish I'd gotten a little bit more accomplished. But I felt like I got, you know, some, some gears moving at least. So I'm in a better place next week. Alright. Uh, I think I died. I dropped down. I just have to, like, turn around and pick up my uh, runes there. So... Where is my body? Oh, here it is. Jesus. Shit. They have such range. I think I'm even, I, I would say even like dogs more than these enemies at this point. Yeah, yeah, I think I like dogs more. Same, just gotta get through the weekend, yeah. Yeah, sometimes the, uh, the, the, the will is there. The will to be productive is there, but then just does not line up with reality I guess if I was a risk taker I would just run through this entire hallway for these zombies but then you have the dropping blades <laughs> and you have the fact that these guys can grab you but two of them have already died from the blades three Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I have a Naga Kiba on the right hand, on my main hand, because I don't really like the weapon art of uh, the Meteoric Blade. At least I don't think there's much use for it. Right now, at least. Oh, shit. Shit, shit. There's too many of them together. It's like the other rave or something. Uh, this guy's funny because all he does is run around on his horse and he summon more zombies.
Easy enough to kill, though. Oh, hello. <laughs> Zombie went for a little ride. I'm back for a bit. I don't want to attack walk into the blade. All right. <laughs> See you later. The blade to drop. Well, I supposed to go up here, right? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> yeah. This this catacombs. I mean, it's optional, I think. So it's all up to me if I want to keep plugging away at it. But if I do decide to quit, I have to turn back now, or else it's just how many runes do I stand to lose? Oh, I can level up now. Damn. Well, maybe I should go back. I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe I should. Oh, I can't because I fell down the hole. Right? The only way I can go back now is if I defeat the boss and then touch the little uh, teleporter that takes me back to the beginning of the uh, dungeon because I don't think there's any way back up after I fell through the... Yeah. I'm trapped here. Unless I give up my runes, I'm trapped here. How much healing do I have? I used up a bunch of potions this time. Right, yeah, so I escape back here, lead them back to that room to fight. Alright, let's do this. I agree about the uh, Meteor Katana and wield it on my left hand. I replace the Ash of War of the Nagakiba with something else, though. Yeah, the uh, the one that's on the Nagakiba is not super impressive. It's just like a slightly, it's like a slower, more powerful uh, heavy attack. You're just thrusting, thrusting away. All right, dude, chase me. He has to break into the run, and then that's when you know he's gonna chase you, for real, for realsies. He's not chasing. He's not running yet. Oh shit, he's running. Ah! <laughs> I can hear him behind me. Oh shit. <laughs> he does not get hurt by the blades, too. It's such bullshit. I'm gonna save my potion. Sometimes I have to use my uh, arrow to like peg them a bit. That should not really work. There he is. He acts really weird in this room. Like he acts like he's not gonna engage and then all of a sudden he'll just go into his attack combos. <sighs> oh shit, I shouldn't jump. Okay, let's reset here. Oh, uh, he's still got a lot of hit points. Yes! I just knew if I just start swinging with the katanas. Whoo! Somewhere a heavy door is open. Thank God. Thank God. I think there's only like my fourth attempt. That's like four too many. Let's go! That's the guy. Oogly eyes. Yeah, yeah, this son of a bitch. Oh yeah, I forgot to give him the... Give him some tetly. 
Here's some telly for ya. Okay. Um, a door opens. So I think, yeah, it's the door at the end of that blade hallway, right? Uh, gosh. <sighs> just keep cool and just don't die to the uh, guillotines here. The video game ass video game dungeon, isn't it? <laughs> How much do they pay in Hydro to keep these blades running, what do you think? It's gotta be killer, I don't know who's footing the bill for this place. Uh, Sphericus, I, I forgot to ask, have you uh, been playing much Elden Ring uh, this, this last week or so? Isn't this a stake, America? Does this mean there's more fighting to be done in this dungeon? Oh, yeah, there is. Is that a regular slow zombie or a special one? God damn it. I wanna leave. Oh, there's still a boss fight. There's still a real boss here. Oh no, that's why. And I can't teleport out. I'm stuck here. Not as much this week because of work, but hopefully next week I'll get some hours in. Nice, nice. Yeah, I did. I did uh, ease back a bit myself on on Elden Ring. Oh shit! Eyes on the zombie. So. Okay, I have a lot of runes now, but I'm basically locked in uh, with my date uh, with this boss. But at least I'll just respawn in this room if I die. Ooh, don't I sound confident if I die. All right, well, let's see who the uh, secret areas as well. Oh, I see, trying to go back and complete dungeons I missed, secret areas as well. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, how, how close do you think you are to finishing the main game right now? All right. Oh, real boss time. Real boss time. All right. This guy looks... Oh, he looks like the hero of Zamor. Oh, it's, it's a recycle. All right. Oh shit, that's right, this is where I go attack him. Oh, I forgot how quick he is. That was a bit of a brawl, wasn't it? I was a little bit undisciplined. I probably could have beat him if I dodged like uh, the first couple attacks that just smacked me. I think if I go for the main objectives, I might have another five hours. Just another five hours? 
Wow, you're real close. Like, five, five hours is nothing, right, in this game. Absolutely nothing. Five hours goes by in a flash. Five hours is me just wander around Limgrave, making no progress at all. Dark Umi! Sorry, Mac, in order to avoid spoilers, I'll be on Lurk. <laughs> Lol. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I understand. <laughs> Good to have you. Thanks for the Lurk, Dark Umi. I hope you're doing well. To be fair, though, there aren't too many spoilers right now. Uh, that we're just doing like a side dungeon. Uh, but I totally understand if, if you want to keep uh, the, the experience pr as pristine as possible for when you finally uh, get to play Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, my uh, ruins are all the way there. Get up! Yeah, that's a little too low. Come on! Oh. Bastard? Yes. Yes. Oh shit. Come on. Suck it. Suck it, good sir. Suck it. Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. Some that's too long of a name. Yeah, but the pace I'm going, I might have another fifty plus hours. <laughs> okay. That's that's a big range. From five hours to fifty. Oh, yeah, uh, Dark Umi, I do miss chatting with you, though. Aw. Nah, no spoilers. Zero, none. Yes, that's good discipline. I, I respect that, Umi. Let's go! Another mini boss. Now, I thought it'd be a, a new boss, um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. I, I'm sick of this place, anyway. 
Yeah, I am a little surprised. I don't feel like I'm super far into the game myself since I've only uh, taken down two major bosses. Yeah, I've been playing this save for over 60 hours, easy. Um, and I feel like there's still a lot to see, but they're already recycling some of the uh, minor bosses, which, you know, it's, it's I, I, I know a lot of reviews give the game shit for doing that. I guess it's okay, it's understandable. Oh, another like uh, screenshot worthy moment. Should I get more of the tree? Should I get more of the Erd tree or just more of the castle? Here we go. Quick screenshot here. <clears throat> okay, now I'm uh, lost again. Like, wh uh, where do I go next? Oh, that summon is a tank. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, by the way, Sphere Kids, do you know how I go about upgrading my uh, summons? Do I do it at the round table? Or is it somewhere else? Because I've collected a bunch of them now, right? Um, oops. I've collected quite a few. Right. <laughs> I've... I've I'm not really using them, and uh, I actually would like to start using them f to fight the uh, Godskin Apostle uh, in Kaled. But uh, that guy just one-shots uh, these uh, AI helpers. Maybe two shots the Jellyfish, who's supposed to be tanky as well. But yeah, Jellyfish dies almost instantly. So I think I have to upgrade yeah, here's, here's the guy that I just got. Asian Dragon Knight, Kristoff. Yeah, he's got a big shield, so not surprisingly uh, to learn he's a tank. I mean, this guy looks big and tough as well, and this guy's got a pole arm. Yeah, I want to try these guys out since I think my, uh, my tough guy approach is slowly wearing, chipping away as I get further into the game. Where I, I don't need to just legit solo every single piece of content in this game. Uh, I think Godric opened my eyes a bit, where they just hand you the summon. They're like, okay, take this lady with you. She's your, she's your buddy, and just summon her and fight Godric with her. And it was so much better. I still had fun fight, fighting Godric, but I didn't have to... Having the AI helper probably saved me like a dozen attempts. It's the girl that would hang around the fireplace at the round table. Oh, that lady. Is, the, is that the lady who now uh, apprentices under the blacksmith at the round table? I, I know that one. And there's two types of uh, glove warts similar to the uh, smithing stones. Okay. Well, I'll head back there. Uh, let me actually... Um... Oh, I put... Uh... <laughs> I changed my uh, shortcut for torrent. Oh, wait a second. Am I where I think I am? If I am, then I can find the... Uh, get back to the... Here we go. Well, I mean, I'm closer to the set of grace, but it's back in the dungeon. So I just want to go to uh, this one. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Right past these dudes. Oh, it's a lightning strike area. Yeah, this stupid area, the lightning strikes, just tanked my frame rate. Fighting that other boss. Uh, where is the. Um, I thought the set of grace was around here. It's right there. There we are. Let's level up. Haven't leveled up for a while. Level up. Oh, I was level 69. How oh, cute. Um, hmm. So I decided to uh, give it a vigor a break 
for a bit. And I've been pumping up endurance again. But I also want to get back to work on dexterity. Do maybe do a couple more into endurance. Just so I can swing my dual katanas a little bit better. Yeah. And I'm very close to leveling up again, so I just have to kill some stuff. Uh, question. With your background, have you considered reviewing PC mobile games or podcasts about gaming in general? Nice. Okay. Uh, Sphere Kiss, it's funny you should mention. <laughs> uh, I had a bit of a winding road towards um, getting into the game development industry. So when I was a bit younger, uh, let's say when I was in my, from the time I was in my uh, mid 20s to early 30s or approaching 30, I did just dabble in um, games blogging. This is when blogging was a bit more new and more of a hot new thing. Uh, you know, blogs like Kotaku and Destructoid and Joystick were taken off big time. And so I, of course, like many people, just started my own blog and started writing. And um, I ended up writing for other people's blogs for a little bit. But it was entirely, uh, you know, on a voluntary basis. I was not paid anything. I did get um, the occasional free game to play. And I did manage to get hookups to attend events and to interview some game developers who were somewhat prominent at the time. So that was pretty cool. And so I guess you've heard of GDC, right? So of course, everyone has. So GDC uh, at the time was expanding. And um, in my hometown, uh, which is Vancouver, uh, they're holding the first ever GDC, GDC there. So this was like sometime in 2008, 2008 or 2009. That was the one, uh, the first and only time they held the GDC in Vancouver. Um, and then uh, I'm looking for those knights that I saw patrolling. This moment. Oh, there they are. I just want to kill some easy, easy guys and then I can get, gain some XP. So I went to GDC uh, on assignment uh, for one of the blogs I was writing for. And I ended up talking to an instructor who was at the um, kiosk for uh, Vancouver Film School. And uh, through my talk to this guy, I kind of got into my head, like I had this kind of aha moment of like, well, I've been enjoying interviewing uh, game developers and attending their talks at GDC. And I've always wanted to see what it's like on the other side. And then talking to this instructor, <laughs> Um, who ended up teaching me a, a few courses once I joined the program. But I'm basically jumping ahead in the story. I decided I wanted to join the game industry after um, GDC uh, Vancouver. And it's funny because at the time I was maybe like 30, 31. And uh, I was talking to this instructor and I was like, yeah, do you think I'm too old to, you know, start, uh, you know, learning about game design and game development. And he kind of had this look on his face for a moment of like, uh, yeah, maybe. But he didn't want to say it, of course, because his job was there to recruit students. So, oh shit, I got to heal. This guy's not easy, actually. Oh shit. No, you did. Yeah, now you did. Now you did. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I made my decision. I was like, yeah, you know, it's now or never because I'm uh, already 30 in the prime of my life. I've been sort of bumming around. Not bumming around, but I've just kind of been a little bit aimless in my career for many years. And uh, I thought, this is it. You know, if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. So I decided to just. Uh, quit my job, move back home with my parents, and then uh, enroll for their one-year program. So the next year, um, I, I was just like 100% just student. 
And so, yes, yeah, so basically, long story short, I have, um, I have, uh, you know, done the whole games journalism thing. It's not lucrative. <laughs> I mean, if you can score a job at IGN or something, yes, you can make a living out of it, and it'd be pretty cool. Uh, but, yeah. There's only so many IGNs out there, right? And I guess, yeah, nowadays, I mean, if you... If I put more work into it and I got started in it earlier, I could probably say I could make go at a YouTube career or something. Uh, but you know, nowadays YouTube careers are like a viable career path for younger people, I would say, um, who've got the runway, the time to fail, right? They can fail fast and fail with lower risk, with fewer consequences. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, games journalism is really fun. Um, it just doesn't pay that well. And I have done podcasts um, with uh, ex-classmates of mine. That's what we all did when we're all still jobless after graduating. Uh, because, of course, they oversell their, uh, <laughs> their hirings, hiring rates for new graduates. Uh, so we were all in very various states of like job hunting or, or being employed and then we had some free time so we did a podcast together. I used to do a podcast, we did about half a dozen episodes where we um, would talk about Kickstarter projects. Yeah, that was pretty fun. It's fun about last. There are still episodes of that up on YouTube. Uh, I find them rather embarrassing now, but uh, it is fun. And Kickstarter, man, back in the day, right? It was such a thing. Uh, but not anymore. Okay, so I'm totally rambling now. I had an objective, and that was to go to the round table. But yeah, you know what? Um, I would at some point would like to do a podcast um, on Twitch or, or somewhere. Maybe start on Twitch, because that's where I'm at right now and uh, rope some people in who I've you know, gotten to know through streaming and Twitch and see if they're interested and maybe do like a monthly podcast where we talk about games and stuff. That would be fun. But we really want to make it uh, low commitment at the start and uh, I really don't want to do it alone so I'd have to have co-hosts. Greetings. Ah, spirit tuning. Roderica, that's right. Yeah, this girl's really sweet. You find her in a in a an abandoned house early in the game, and then she makes her way here, and then you recommend her to apprentice under this this gruff fellow. And it, yeah, it's really sweet. Oh right, and you're mentioning the the grave glove wart. I thought I had more of these. I just don't have enough runes right now. Oh, just go figure. And I guess it costs, there's different costs for each of the uh, AI summons. Oh, okay, I just spent all my runes leveling up. Oops. Oops, eh. Um, where should I go now? Hmm. Just do some more exploring, I guess. I should come back here because I wanted to actually. There's a map fragment hiding here. So, okay, let's just go, let's go back. Let's go back. Hey, Derek's pretty all right. How you doing? I was just talking about friends I've met through Twitch, and then you show up out of nowhere. Fancy, fancy timing. That sounds like a fun idea. Yeah, I hope it becomes a fun idea that becomes a reality. Um, yo, happy Friday. Thank you very much, Derek. Yeah, back to the good old onion ring. That is for sure. Uh, Onion Ring was getting jealous of my uh, Neo 2 time. Yep, she's the one. Thought she was Red Riding Hood when I first met her. Yeah, she totally looks like Red Riding Hood when you first meet her, right? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for being here, you two. I'm going to uh, gather myself up. I gotta go back outside right now. Holy crap, this elevator is slow. Oh, here we are. 
BRB, no problem, Syracus. Uh, Derek, how are you doing today, sir? Random Twitch friends, finds are the best. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've. Uh, it's not something I, I've really uh, made a plan of. Like, I really haven't worked out my plan of approach just yet, but I did have some random thoughts in my mind recently. Once I've maybe gone to know, like, yourself or other people better, I want to ask you if, you know, you might be interested at some point to do some kind of collab that didn't necessarily involve playing video games. Although we could still do that, but it would be more of, like, a podcast or something. So, I mean, the cat's out of the bag now since I was talking to Spherekiss about this stuff. Um, but, yeah, it's been sort of, like, in the bouncing around in the brain box uh, lately. And, uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, but uh, it's something that uh, I really want to make sure that if I get co-hosts to jump in with me on this, that, you know, they're 100% on board. Um, I don't feel like I'm twisting anyone's arm to do it. And I just want to really make it a low commitment at the start. Because I can be pretty flaky with this stuff, too. So, something we can think about, perhaps. Um, but, yeah. Where was it going again? Uh, right, right, right. Let's follow the waypoint marker. Yeah, man, getting my muscle memory back. <laughs> Even after just uh, two streams of playing a different game, it's a little rough on an Elden Ring. But we just beat a boss on, on, the, on the bright side here. Collabs sound cool. Yeah, well, I hope they are. I mean, they should be. They should be. Um, But I understand how it can be tricky with like schedules, uh, adulting, people got to adult, people got to work, people got their own content creation to do. Uh, it can be hard to uh, coordinate things. Okay. How do I get down there? It's... It's a bit of a it's a bit of a fall. I'm not gonna survive this fall, uh, so I basically have to go back into the castle, huh? And then come back out because I'm trying to get to that point there. So yeah, they're telling me to go back into the gigantic castle, pretty much. I missed a boss fight. No. <laughs> yeah, it, the boss wasn't uh, brand new. They, they, they're recycling bosses already right now. Uh, but um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was, it was pretty cool. I, I should sell it. I should sell it harder. It was pretty cool, but uh, there'll be more bosses to come, not to worry. Yeah, keep me posted. I'd be down to collab in the future. Awesome. Well, uh, I've piqued your interest, so I will definitely um, keep it in mind. And um, yeah, maybe we can. I would like to rope at least one other person in. So um, even two, two, even two more people. The more, the merrier, in in a way. That way, people can drop out. Right? If they can't make it this one time, then there's still like two or three other people to kind of carry the load. So, yeah, I, I, I'll do some more thinking about it, and I'll, I'll keep you posted for sure. A first episode of McClintock, perhaps. <laughs> yes, McClintock. McClintock talks. McClintock, oh my goodness. You and your play on words, well done. Oh, what you got cooking this weekend? Derek. Uh, I was hoping to avoid uh, going back to the castle, but I guess that's where all the fun is, so let's, let's head on back. Yeah, I feel like I can't drop down without 
Yeah, I can do it here. Yeah, I think I can survive this fall. <laughs> Famous last words. I think I can survive this fall. There we go. Welcome back, Sphere Kiss. Oh, what do we have here? Oh shit. It's a Grim Reaper type. Shit. Oh, he has a lot of hit points, this bastard. Generates. Yeah, here. <laughs> Not today, son. Not today. Weekend will be a little more spring cleaning, visiting my parents and my wife's parents for Mother's Day. Oh yes, Mother's Day. Nice and low key. How about you? Um, yeah, yeah. That's a good reminder for Mother's Day. I've already sort of sent a little something. Um, to my mom uh, for Mother's Day. It's gonna arrive on the Sunday. I'm not gonna be visiting though. Um, I will be seeing my parents uh, later next week, so that kind of makes up for it. Uh, but yeah, it's been pretty chill. Pretty chill for me. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully do some other things for the Twitch channel. Um, gonna try to make that channel trailer I don't know, like the idea I have sounds good in my head right now, but once I start executing it, <laughs> it may not be so great. So uh, I'll do a test run, hopefully tomorrow. And I, hopefully I'll have it ready by Sunday for the uh, anniversary uh, stream. Okay, so there is more, more ways to fall and it is not good. I'm not gonna survive this fall for sure. Um, aside from that, yeah, just chilling. Chilling. Another lazy weekend, I, I would say. Uh, l a lot less cleaning than uh, the previous week. Uh, well, that's right, you're gonna work in a trailer, that sounds fun. Yeah, ho I hope it turns out okay. I don't wanna, uh... Oh, a dragon! Oh, gosh. Uh, we're not gonna fight the dragon right now. Let's stick a pin on this ancient dragon land land seeks. Land sacks. Oh, he's awfully close, isn't he? Bye. Oh yeah, he uh, shoots arcane or is he arcane dragon? Oh! Oh <laughs> shoot! <laughs> Uh, the fire was gonna come down the stairs for me. Uh, so Spherica's, I uh, was trying to get to my marker and uh, it seems like I can't make the jump or survive the fall to get there, so I have to go back into the big castle here. Ooh. Epic music. Going off the hook here. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, come on. Drag. Oh no. No dragon fight. Not yet. Uh, don't worry. There's gonna be more action inside the uh, castle. I promise you that. Um, remember, I told you that there's a, a repeat of Margit. I told you, or I told somebody, I told the chat in general, the monolithic chat uh, I mentioned to. What's in here? Nothing. How'd I get back inside this uh, stupid castle? Stupid castle. Uh, yeah. 
Up you go. Up you go, Torrin. It's Torrent, isn't it? I always say Torrin without the T. Yo, where's the gates? Yo, look at the map. But I can't because I've activated enemies. Oh, it, oh, maybe this is... Oh, yeah, here I am. Here I am. I found what I seek. Oh, let's just kill some random enemies. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think I saw you encounter him. Cool, yeah, let's go kill him. I I have a feeling... Well, maybe I'm kind of... Uh, counting my uh, eggs before they're hatched, if that's the saying. I, I was going to say I have a feeling he's a weaker version, but who knows. I can find him on the horse now, too. I keep using the wrong shortcut. There we go. He was back here, was he not? Capital Upskirts. I see the ah, yes. Oh, they, oh, I still have my horse. Yeah, I can find him on the horse. Shit. Oh, what? Oh, there's a dip in the ground. That's why I couldn't swing at him. I don't know how effective this will be. Chipping away at him. Oh shit, I got too close. Oh shit. You know what? Oh shit. What? I can't uh, roll beneath them. This, the the designers of this game are such dicks. Like they couldn't just let you fight them the second time on like a smooth terrain. You have to like fight them with like pockmarked terrain. Even he's having trouble walking. Look at this! They're such a-holes. Like, look at this shit. How are you supposed to fight like this? <laughs> look. I'm getting back on the horse. Oh, shit. oh he can't hit me. <laughs> like, seriously, guys. Uh, I'm just kind of rolling my eyes at this part now. I just hope I get something for beating him. Get on your horse! Ugh! <laughs> Ugh! Jesus Christ. 
Oh, he resets. That kind of helped me out, actually. Hey, Mr. Toxic, how's it going? Welcome in. You excuse me, please. Um, I'm a little bit distracted. Just gotta take care of this uh, boss, boss man, and then. Uh, yeah, but uh, thanks for coming in. It's good to have you. Yeah, I, I was gonna uh, fight him on the horseback this time, and hopefully I can still beat him. Yeah, yeah, you do a little spinny spin. You may get a little bit dizzy as I do this boss fight. I just gotta find the right moment to uh, smack him. Oh shit, I should have just stayed away. up got him I'm doing pretty good damage on him I gotta say which is good because I'm not getting a chance to really hit him that often Why did I jump off my horse? I always jump off my horse because I, I get excited. Come on. I don't have a lot of healing left. I gotta be careful. Come on. Oh shit. Come pull your daggers. Come on. A little methodical. Oh, he backed off. Oh, shit. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. Come on, make your move. Of course, it go round and round. Oh shit. Damn it. I always circle this direction, that's where my sword arm is, right? I loathe these dips in the ground. Got him. Oh, I should I could have hit him there. Oh shit, I gotta run away properly this time. Damn it. Damn 
know he's backing away a lot. Stupid. He's almost dead. Come on. Oh, I fell into the pit. He could have got me there. Oh, crap. This part is so lame. Is he stuck or what? Okay, he can still attack. Oh, shit. Suck it, Margaret. Hope I never see you again. Viridian Amber Medallion. Cool. Couple more hits. You got this. Thank you. Yes, we did it. What uneven terrain. <laughs> For real. Make it so much harder, hey? Hey, the good GG. Well done. Oh, hey, Mixed of Toxic, you did some redemptions. Thank you very much. Drinky, drinky. I totally need the drinky, drinky. And, um, can't we be friends? Oh, we sure can, Mr. Toxic. Um, oh, sorry about that. I was switching over to, um, I thought, oh, aren't we already? Taking a quick break so uh, Mr. Toxic and I can be friends on Twitch. And uh, catch up on chat as well. Uh, yes, Mr. Toxis, I, I totally know who you are. Uh, we met on Derek's stream, that is for sure. Yeah, so thank you so much for the follow as well, by the way, Mr. Toxic. Um, and I see your name there, and uh, well, I'm going to drop you a follow as well. And where's the button to make frenzy frenzies? I don't know. I don't see it. But I have your I have your um, channel up on my uh, tab. So uh, later on or after the stream, I'll be sure to send you a, a friend request. Cool. Thanks for the redemption. And welcome once again. Uh, okay, so... I am severely injured, but we, uh, ooh. I hope this guy never comes back, even after I touch a set of grace and I rest. I hope I never see that guy again, ever. I was going to fight him on, on this terrain, on foot, but it was just too much for me. I'm really at, uh, at a loss of where to go right now. Oh yes, my, my original um, thing was to uh, get to this point. Right, 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 right. So I thought I came through here. So give myself turn around. So I have to go this way, is that it? It would seem, it would appear so. Mr. Toxic, how are you doing tonight? Oh shit, we have another boss character here? If I just look behind me. Oh, I've seen this guy before. I've seen other streamers fight this guy. He seems hard. He is basically a... Uh, a giant bird that holds a spear. 
I, I will come back for him. Don't worry. Uh, right now, I'm just focused on finding the uh, the marker that I said. Oh, look, set of grace. Very cool. All right. All right, all right. I think Twitch is removing the friends feature. Oh, really? Interesting. Or have already removed it. Oh, that would explain why I don't see a button. I want to wonder why they did that. Because I know I'm friends with the gamers coop. And um, there's a little section below uh, in the sidebar below the channels where you can actually see what friends are online and such. I think it's a little bit intrusive where you can actually see um, which channel you're currently watching. I think that's maybe a bit much. Oh shit. This is the Tree Sentinels again. Right, I've been through here before. Um, this is where I came in originally. Where are you going? Don't shoot me with arrows, please. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I was gonna keep saying that. Oh, is it a ballista somewhere? Oh, shit. Let me just um, pick up some items. Right, so waypoint, my little marker one. But it's actually, I have to keep going straight and I'll find it. Straight, there we go. Uh, Mr. Toxic, I don't know um, what your experience is with Dark Souls games. Souls likes. Oh, there it is. Uh, but if you've ever been curious about trying one out, I think Elden Ring is a good one to start with. It's basically uh, a Dark Souls game on steroids, but it's more approachable, I would say, and it's not as hard. It's still really hard, but there's ways to make it less hard. Yeah. And the same goes for you, Derek, if you're ever uh, interested. <laughs> um, you know what, Derek? I need to redeem, on your, on your channel, I need to redeem the big one you have. Uh, which is, I, uh, you get to choose a game for you to play. I'm not going to choose Elden Ring. I'm not going to be a troll as much as I'd like to. But uh, yeah, the next time you're on, I'm gonna redeem. I'm gonna redeem that. And uh, the game you probably already have on your uh, on your roadmap. Um, but I could be wrong. Uh, you'd recommend starting with Elden Ring, of all the Dark Souls type games. I would say so. I mean, either this one. Or the first Dark Souls. Uh, the first Dark Souls just because... Um, I mean, it's the original, but... I, I don't think they... They haven't yet started to sort of try to challenge veteran players with new things. Uh, Dark Souls is sort of like a baseline. Like, this is like the template. This is a Souls template. So... It, doesn't really throw too many curveballs at you. What I don't like about the first Dark Souls, and I think they carried on into the second one too, or the third one, is that they have this concept of being hollow and being whole. So you kind of start the game as sort of like this undead thing, and then you find a way to make yourself more human. And then depending on what which state you're in, you get access to different things and different benefits. And so I found that stuff really confusing because the game doesn't, 
explain it to you. So you definitely have to do some research on that stuff. But aside from that, in terms of just playing the game, I think Dark Souls is more straightforward than Elden Ring. Uh, but if you don't, you know, if you don't want to play a ten-year-old game, uh, and you just want to play something that has more exploration and it's a bit more forgiving, then maybe Elden Ring is still the way to go. Uh, okay, so I found the. Um, yeah, I unlocked uh, the map now, which is cool. You can actually see where we're going somewhat. Uh, I'm kind of just like... I've been a bit aimless today, haven't I? But there's a church here, so let's go check out the church. And actually, I have earned... Uh, enough ruins now. Oh, I definitely have enough ruins to actually try and upgrade my uh, summons. Yeah. Oh no, the church is at the top here, isn't it? A bit more forgiving. I'm always <laughs> looking for as much game forgiveness as possible. Lol. Elden Ring it is. Oh, okay, so you, you will kind of put on your list. Oh, shit! No! <laughs> you died. I was trying to get to the church. So yes, forgiveness. Um, yeah, getting back my XP should be fairly easy, Derek, because they're just going to have that uh, grave marked off. Um, oh, shit. We're going to have the grave uh, set up at the top of the, uh, the ledge, right? So I don't have to find a way to the bottom of that pit to retrieve my stuff, which is good. Ah. <sighs> So, but yeah, I mean, look at this game, it's gorgeous, right? Even if you do nothing but ride around on your horse, I mean, I, I feel like you get some good value for the money. You know, if you're into the Skyrims, the open world games, I mean, this, this offers a huge open world. Maybe after I finish Hitman, I'll queue this up finally. Ooh, baby. And I think for your stream, you're just gonna uh, rope in a whole new audience. Uh, I think it'll be good. You died just now was not a good omen. <laughs> See, look, here's my gravesite. Easy peasy. No fuss, no muss. Um, all right, so let's see here. Uh, I wanted to go back and fight the uh, birdie boss. The birdie boss, where, where was he? Was he here? I think he was here. But before we do that, I want to try upgrading my summons. And to do that, we need to go all the way back. Not all the way back. We got to go to the special hub area. And the round table. Round table hold, pardon me. Uh, which door was it? I always get confused. It's this one. Meet nice lady. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Yes. Okay, weird. I can only uh, tune up these guys. Because I own six or seven at this point, but I can only tune up these dudes. Weird. So I can summon four putrid corpse spirits or two skeletal militiaman spirits. Well, uh, the one that's more expensive is maybe better. 
you don't always get what you pay for, but without knowing anything more, uh, let's go for the more expensive one. Yeah. I can maybe upgrade both of them. Oh, I can upgrade multiple times. So why don't we just focus on making these guys the best they can be. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I see. Uh, I, I had to go to the other tabs to get the other guys. That's why. I'm glad I didn't spend all my freaking uh, glove warts on these on those uh, corpses. Whew. You pay attention. All right, so this is my newest acquisition. And uh, he's supposed to be really tanky, according to I Am Spherikus. He's a tanky boy, and I think that's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. He uses... Oh, I see. These guys use the cheaper brand, the Grave Glove Wart, and then these guys use the premium brand, the Ghost Glove Wart. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. And why not? Let's, let's put one more upgrade into this guy. Why the hell not? Well, I guess I'll upgrade him. One more time. Let's just do one more time. And then we'll just leave these guys as they... I'm going to put one more upgrade into these guys since I already started. Sure. I, I just don't know how much upgrading they really need. I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking Ooh. in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even unceasing imagine. Unceasing cacophony. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the crafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. please. I can hear it from across the wing, past the round table. The howling and wailing. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong. Okay. Should we go check it out? Can you upgrade some of my weapons? Well, Let's see. I took you for no matter. Lay out your arm. Real quick here. I can't. Oh, I can't upgrade. My, oh, I can't. Pardon me. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Hold on now. There's acting in this. I just assumed there was all battles. <laughs> yeah, there's people you get. You talk to. You know, you talk to people. It's an RPG, really. I mean, there's not as much as you know. Mass Effect or something, but it's there. This lady is uh, funny. Oh, my dear. Had a change of heart already. You uh, basically can get an STI from this lady. Let her hold you. You're supposed to refuse. I understand. <laughs> your disdain is only natural. <laughs> oh, sorry. But should you change your mind, come pay me another visit. If I'm looking for a, a warm hug, I know where to go. Maybe some other time. When I, when I know the walk-in clinic is open, maybe I'll come back for a warm hug, right? What? <laughs> um, it's, it's, not, it's not like they say, oh, you got the clap or something, but it's... You get a, a, a debuff to your health if you hug her. And then I think you need to do something. It's not too complicated. I think it's just going into your uh, equipment and even unequipping an item that you suddenly have. It's something pretty simple like that, but I, I just don't want to mess with that sort of stuff right now. I don't want to knowingly give myself a debuff right this moment. So, Okay, so... Uh, Roderica told us about a clanging on the other side of the round table here. Oh, hey, we got a raid. Tom Boop, hello, sir. 
Hello, hello, guys. Just give me a moment here. Hey, hey. Hello, Tom. Just give me a moment here. Welcome in, guys. Welcome, Raiders. So what does there the frenzy go. even do? Hey, this is not Neo. Good lord. Oh, I'm stuck. Looks like Bloodborne. Good lord. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But you never know what Twitch guru is going to pull out for you. Uh, but hey, welcome in, Tom. Um, how is your Neo stream? And uh, to, to all the uh, new visitors, new viewers, uh, welcome in. My name is McClintock. Uh, welcome to my channel. I play uh, a lot of sword games, uh, action games involving sword combat. So these days that means a lot of Souls likes, a lot of Elden Ring. Um, I'm also, uh, I started to play Neo 2 uh, this week as well. So there's a lot of uh, swearing, there's a lot of uh, yelling and, and tears when you come to my stream. So uh, welcome in. I uh, hope you li like it here. Um, and thank you, Tom, for bringing uh, your raid and bringing your viewers over. I much appreciate it. Neil was okay today, but he didn't win as much as I wanted to. Oh, okay. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, it's, it's those ninja dogs, right? It's those ninja dogs. They're dogging you. They looked, they looked bad news. Very bad news. Ah, Neil. Very cool. Goddamn dogs. <laughs> So, um, you kind of came at a good time, I gotta say. Uh, I, we had a bit of a quiet moment as I went back to home base to do some upgrades, but I was gonna go find some trouble again. So, uh, also, if you don't mind spoilers, you know, I am playing Elden Ring. I, I, I think you mentioned you had not started playing this yet, right? Um, so, there may be, you know, if you want to go in completely pristine, uh, like a newborn baby. I totally understand if you if you want to just like Shut down the stream or go on lurk mode or something. Uh, I'm not doing heavy story content right now uh, So you, nothing has context for you. I guess I'm just gonna go fight a boss right now. So it should be fine. I'd love for you to stay, but if you got to go, I totally understand um, So yeah, where was he? Where's the big bird guy? You should try teach yourself through. Sh you should try teach yours to through throw a shuriken. Uh, oh, I will lurk though. Okay, yeah, no worries, Tom. Uh, the shuriken uh, is very useful in Neo. Uh, either that or the kunai I found. Yeah, that those can be pretty handy for uh, kiting enemies to you. Yes, yes, I remember now. Oh, teach my dog. <laughs> oh, teach my dog. Oh, okay. I, I got I got the joke now. Wow, that went over my head, Tom. This is what happens. This is what happens when you get to my age and you start streaming at night. Yeah, my dog's... Uh, my dog's kind of past the age of learning these new tricks, maybe, but who knows? Okay, we have a boss fight. Oh, shit. Hello. Nice to meet you. Ooh. There's no dramatic music when I fight this guy. Is he really a boss? Oh my goodness. Oh, he dodged. Oh, he dodged again. He's pretty nimble for a big boy. Oh shit, he stomped on him. 
I don't like he's running away. I'm the one who's supposed to be running away. Oh shit, I asked for that. Oh, okay. That's, he gets you there. Oh, okay. Two strikes on that move. Heals I have. Oh no. He, um. I don't know how much life he has left. He has a lot of hit points. Oh shoot! You guys are right. I forgot my overlay. Sorry about that, guys. Oh no! <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Oh, sorry guys. How embarrassing. He's deep in boss fight. No, he ain't gonna see those warnings. No, I, I totally miss it. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Very sorry, very sorry guys. Um damn. Alright, let's let's uh let's start over if we can. Uh, okay, okay. Well, you know, uh let me summarize it for you. Uh, I fought the boss and I died. <laughs> and uh, we're actually just two steps away from the, the same boss. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. It's so weird. Never in my uh, time streaming have I done that. First time. Uh, I think I have been on the wrong screen in OBS, like, maybe once, but it wasn't for this sort of, uh, gameplay. Uh-oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Actually, I'm doing uh, a lot worse than I did the first time. Okay, that's an instant kill. If I get hit by his, uh, little, uh... Earthquake. Art by Dare. Hello, welcome in. Hello, I stepped out and just got back and I'm in a whole different stream. Good luck, McClintock. Oh, hey, yeah, you got carried in uh, in uh, Tom's, Tom's raid. So uh, thanks for uh, coming into the uh, chat there. Amazing, right? I did not win the boss, by the way. Ah, so tell me about the boss uh, that you were fighting in Neo, uh, Tom. Was he as uh, gigantic as this guy? Oops, I keep doing that now. I should not have switched the uh, shortcut for uh, Torrent. Because that's just hours and hours of uh, muscle memory that I'm uh, I didn't pick up my uh, runes last time, did I? Oops. <laughs> oh shit. Time to heal. Shit. Damn it. Oh shit, I should have just dodged there. Okay, he's coming in again. 
Oh shit, I should not get near him when he does that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I don't have to heal again just yet. They'd fall off the edge there. Ugh. Oh, shit. Get away! Oh no! Oh, that's a bad move. I haven't uh, stunned him once. Oh, shoot. Damn, damn, damn. This guy's tough. Uh, he was, <laughs> he was a human, uh, but the worst kind of human. He was a poopy ninja. Is this also Neo? Didn't recognize it at first since it's finally uh, not perpetually midnight. GG, Tom. Uh, Arbor Dave uh, is Elden Ring, and uh, yes, it's uh, quite a bit more bright and vibrant than uh, Neo, isn't it? Um, and Tom, uh, didn't you? I thought I saw you fighting a, a ninja the, before I dropped off your stream. He uh, had sort of like the nice haircut, and he had the tomfas. Did you beat the ninja of the tomfas? Um, if you did, then you must be referring to a different uh, poopy ninja. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's give this. Oh gosh, I keep reaching for the wrong uh, thing in my pocket. Yeah, I gotta pull the horse out of my pocket. That's what I'm. That's what I'm here for. Oh, I thought he dodged. Oh. Still gonna lead him on to just flat ground. It's a little bit better. Just managed to get out of the way there. If I can f lead him down. Oh shit. He shoots a. Uh, he has a Skyrim Fusroda sort of thing. Come on down! I wonder where he can uh, reset his position, how far I can lead him away from his original spot.
Well, I can fight him down here. Great. Oh, come on. I just have to avoid the stomp because you get hit by the stomp, you're stunned, and you open for that, um, that, um, that smash he does with his weapon. The famous scream of death. <laughs> oh, drinky, drinky. Thank you, Tom, for uh, the redemption. Let me catch one chat once again after failing. Um, uh, I witnessed the you died screen in real time, finally. Elden Ring looks cool. Much more vibrant indeed. His range, ah. The famous scream. Iconic. I feel like I can give this guy one more go. I'm thirsty tonight, but I think that's it. that's all my water. I got like one little dr drop of water left. It's like when you're dying in the desert and you're just looking for that one last drop of water. I think that's how much I have. Um, you know when you're dying in the desert, you know, everyone's been in that situation, right? I did it again. I did it again. I should just rebind it. I'll put the shortcut back to where it was and then I'll start doing the new shortcut after that. That's, that's, how, that's what always happens. Should I fight him on the horse? Nah, nah, nah. I want to lead him back to, uh, fighting him on the stairs is very awkward. Oh shit, he has to do his little, uh... Sonic boom. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, I'll get with the horse. I don't really have a game plan for uh, fighting this guy. Like, he doesn't have... Oh, I do not get hit by that stuff. That's great. If I don't get hit by those big things, that'd be awesome. Chase me. When does he pull out his other weapon? I'm healing. Come attack me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Chase me. I don't like that attack at all. I kind of want to fight in just like an arena. Oh, come on. Stop going back up the stairs. You know, fun. Tom, I think I'd rather fight a poopy ninja than this huge winged giant who can do Fusro Da like in Skyrim. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. He's got two two swings after that stomp, doesn't he? Okay. <laughs> no, my ninja is a poop. This one is cutie. <laughs> Dying in the desert, you know. You know as you do. Every day. You don't die in the desert every weekday. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, I'll do one more. I, I think that was a really uh, bad run. Uh, I'll, I'll fight the guy on his terms. Uh, it's a bit too much of a, a hassle to lead him down these steps. So I'll just I'll fight him the way he wants to. Or maybe I'll try fighting him on the horse for a bit. Hello. Oh, 
Okay, the horse makes it very hard to maneuver around him. Oh shit. Doing worse than ever. Jesus. Where's your savior now? Okay, I'm out of here. I can't reach him. It's bullshit. It's bullshit, man. I can't do uh, the visceral attack because he is on a different level than me. Oh boy. Oh, Elden Ring. You're so cheeky. Jump attacking you? Oh shit. Oh yeah, I got you in the taint this time. Yes. How do you like me now? No! <laughs> no, I got greedy. I got greedy. I asked for that. I deserve that. I deserve that, guys. Um, I stunned him twice. That's some progress. But you know what? Um, there is my uh, there's my grave site. We have a perfect uh, starting point for uh, the next Elden Ring stream. We will uh, overcome this boss fight. There we are. Sorry again for uh, taking my first crack at the boss in my uh, chat overlay. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> because it's just basically me <laughs> looking somewhere else and I'm just talking like a crazy man. That's what it amounts to. Um, okay, we're back in the overlay that we're supposed to be in. Uh, thanks. Thanks again for uh, tuning in, everyone. Uh, I am Syracuse. Derek's pretty all right. Mr. Toxic. Thank you, Tom, for the raid. Uh, thank you for bringing all your uh, friends from your channel over over, over to my, my channel. Uh, Art by Dare. Thank you very much. Uh, well, it was a highlightable moment. Oh, God. Of all the highlights we could have. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, thanks so much uh, for tuning in uh, this Friday night. Um, next stream is Sunday at 9.30 uh, a.m. Pacific time. Uh, it's going to be my uh, anniversary, uh, anniversary on Twitch, my one year anniversary. Uh, technically, it's on Monday, but I normally stream on Monday. So I'm doing it one day early on Sunday. A uh, little bit uh, different format on Sunday stream. I'm gonna spend more time, I guess, in this overlay and just be shooting the shit with whoever decides to come by. I will probably play uh, excerpts of my very first stream from uh, last May. Uh, it's not very good. Um, I mean, it's even worse than what you did, what you just watched. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly enough, but uh, I, I'll, I'll play some of the uh, old, old episode, uh, and then I can I can laugh at it. We all have a good laugh, and then we'll have some chat time, uh, longer than usual. And um, the game I'll be playing on Sunday for about an hour, maybe, is called. Uh, let's see if I get it right. Dwarf Romantic. It's uh, kind of like a chilled, chilled out, laid back 
a strategy game that reminds me a lot of Carcassonne, if you guys know that board game. The board game that's also become a video game over the over the years. Um, I think it's a very relaxing game to play. I don't want to be playing Elden Ring and, and dying constantly uh, on that stream. I just thought we just chill out for a bit, play something relaxing, and just just have uh, have fun times chatting. Uh, that's pretty much it. Have a good day and night, uh, McClintock. Bye, everyone. Uh, bye, Art by Dare. Thank you very much again for stopping by. Hope you have a good night or afternoon or morning as well. And congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you, sir. Ooh, you're going to try the strategy game. Very nice. Yes, I, I picked it up earlier in the week. And uh, provided that uh, there's no bugs with it, I get it working with OBS, then yeah, I'll be playing Dwarf Romantic. So yeah, it'll be relaxing times. Um, that's it for the streams, but before we go, uh, let me see if there is a, a raid target for us to, to kind of spread, spread the joy to. Find a victim for a raid, if you will. It's, oh, it's man, by the way. But yes, thanks. Oh, pardon me. I'm sorry. Thanks for correcting me. I now know. Um, it can be hard to tell with the, the names on Twitch. But yes, thank you very much for letting me know. And uh, we'll look at uh, who we got available here. Uh, we paid a visit to Still Seraph last night already. Oh, we got Serpent Slayer. Holy crap. Ma'am. <laughs> um, so we can either visit Serpent Slayer or the field team leader. Now, the field team leader, I think Derek... Uh, I, I think I found out about the field team leader through your stream. And I've actually been, uh, he's playing Warhammer 40,000 Kiosk Gate, so we gotta visit him. So let's visit the field team later. He's playing a new game, it's a strategy game based on the F Warhammer 40k universe. Um, yeah, it's a really cool looking game, it's like an XCOM style game. So let's go run over to the field team later and uh, say hi, shall we? Yes, yes, not all people on Twitch are boys. Uh, of course, definitely. Uh, this is not the uh, good old days or like the the early days of Twitch, right? Uh, it's, it's very much uh, equalized now, which is a great thing. Um, so let me get this raid all set up. And oh, that's weird. It doesn't show up on the list. The field team... There we go. Let me get it queued up. So yes, getting the raid queued up. Yeah, <laughs> good old days, la la. It wasn't uh, quite the meaning that I wanted to come across. It was like the old boys club, uh, back back. Uh, back then in the early days with Justin TV, I'm sure, right? Um, all right, so when I'm done putting my foot in my mouth, I think we're ready for the raid. Thank you again so much. Uh, let's say hi to the field team later and uh, I'll see you all next time. Good night.